Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and I will show you just quick how to use the um, Ocur <laughs> font inside of Photoshop, the animated part. So here we go. We open Photoshop. How do you say it? Ocur. <laughs> so let's pretend we do, uh, we want to do a, um, what? Does it call uh, Instagram story? <laughs> so this is my Canva for Instagram story, and I just decided to use this image over here. So this is the folder you will get here. This is the animated font, the wavy version and the wavy blur version. The blurred one is also available as a normal font. You will see it here. I mean, not a normal font in this case, but an SVG font. And this is a normal font. And there's also a web font included as the description set. So <clears throat> let's take this one. So you will have for each and every um, letter or, uh, or number or glyph, do you say glyph? I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, you will have one PNG preview, it's the same size basically like the, or it should be the same size, let me check, yeah, it's the same size like um, the animation files so you can arrange your stuff um, before you use the animated font. So let's pretend we want to write ABC. I will directly take this over here and the font just um, behaves like a smart object. So you can um, crop and move and uh, overlay it with filter and so on. So the next thing you will do, uh, you have to do is to go to window and open the timeline and then you will see that there's a um, create video timeline option. Please don't use to create frame animation with something different. We don't need this. So we create a timeline and now you already see that the image in the background is not as long as the animation. So we have to adjust this. And then simply go over here and make it like this. For example, this is not really beautiful, but uh, just for an example. <laughs> so what you can do now, you can overlay um, the font with any color you want. So it's totally up to you. Let's take white. Um, for this you can also overlay it with a gradient or use uh, any kind of shadow or what do you whatever you want so now when you want a preview for this animation if you use it in Photoshop what you totally can you can use it in After Effects and you can use it in Premiere Pro as well as um, Final Cut but this tutorial is only for uh, Photoshop because it's kind of different than in the other programs. So when you go further it looks a bit stuttery because Photoshop always takes a bit to pre-render the animation but when you export the files it's totally clean and smooth. So here we go. Now you can see it already. So what you can do, I mean, you can do like everything. You can uh, put a, a blur filter on top. You can also um, transform it like this. So this is super cool. So you can transform it and the animation is still working. So super nice thing for experimental arty stuff. And what you can also do is you can mask things out and this is like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so here we go. Let's pretend this is uh, this might be on uh, yeah. Okay, it looks a bit creepy, but 
you know what I mean. So then go to file, um, export and render video. Takes a bit longer than exporting in Premiere Pro or After Effects depending on what you're doing but it's basically the same. So that's it. Have fun and make animated stuff. Bye!